I am reading To Kill a Mockingbird. Have you ever heard of the book? Yes, I love that book. I am taking the time to write down every new word I find and I copied the meaning and I have my, my notebook here. Great. So um, as you can imagine, to do this, I'm reading it pretty slow. I have only read 41% of the book. Uh, and uh, I would like to talk to you about a few words that I have here. Can we do that? Absolutely. Okay. Um, so uh, I, I please, uh, I, I would like to ask you to please put the word in a sentence, in your own way, okay? Mm -hmm. The words I have here may seem random because I get them from different parts of the text, okay? How would you put the word swift in a sentence? Swift. <laughs> um, I laugh. There's a common, well, maybe not common, but there is an expression that we use with swift. My mom, my mom would say it, and it was um, something like um, to give a swift kick in the pants. <laughs> it means to like to kick someone, to uh -huh. give a, a swift kick in the pants. Um, this this is a very specific uh, example, but swift we use. It means like quick or fast, right? Um, so, can I use can I use the adverb, the adverbial form? Okay, wh whatever you, you like. Okay, I swiftly picked up my toddler from the ground. Okay. I like that. I appreciate you thinking and giving me that example because talking about the word helps me remember. That's my yes. strategy here. Yes, good. So good. maybe sometimes I do uh, do the same word with other tutors so I can compare. Good. I like it. I like the word swift. I, I like the way it sounds. And I or and I also like that I pronounced it right because you understood me. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> uh, this one scrape scrape so okay so this can be a noun or it can be a verb right to scrape um so the action of scraping ah i scraped my knee earlier i scraped mm. it ah, I, I like the way ah is there, a, there is another word for the same thing, scratch? I scratched my knee? It, it is similar, it's similar. Um, a scratch is generally smaller because when you think about scratching, right? Yes. <laughs> you use your nails and so the, the scratches are small. A scrape is uh, like a larger surface area, mm -hmm. I would, I, I think. And when you think scrape, you think using an object, maybe to yes. to do that, right? Yes. Yep. That's a good, a good point. Uh, I appreciate that. Of course, I have my my. What what do you call uh, if I have some resource here to? Uh, there is Your an expression. Notes. Yeah, I have Your my notes. notes. Yeah. Thank yeah. you. Uh, in Portuguese, in an informal way, I would say I have my cola here. Cola is like uh, glue, but it can be used like uh, if students want to cheat during a test, they might bring some notes, right, with them hidden. And we call that in Portuguese, cola. Oh, they have their cola. Okay. <laughs> I just... I, I couldn't mention that. I love it. <laughs> so, Erin, I am beginning a new YouTube channel about English. And on that channel, I mostly upload videos that I get here from Cambly from these lessons. Of course, only when the tutor is okay with it. So, I have to ask you, uh, can I use this on my YouTube channel? Only if you're okay. I completely understand if you're not. Sure, yeah.
Thank you. I appreciate that. Um, so that means I will put you um, among my favorites here because when I find someone who understands what I'm doing and is willing to participate, I put them uh, among my favorites so I can do this again. Cool. Okay. Well, this is one of my, I mean, I love English. I love languages. I love teaching, but I really love talking about words, like specifically the meaning of words, the etymology, where the words have come from. Uh, so I would love to, to keep uh, yes. chatting with you about that. I appreciate, I appreciate your, uh, can I say willingness to participate? Mm -hmm. Yes. Yep, okay. exactly. Um, we have still one minute and 20 seconds. I think it's enough for us to talk about another one. Have I think you so. ever used the word diligent? Yes. And can you put that in a sentence? Uh, so I would say I am a very diligent person. I work very hard. Diligent just means hard working right mm -hmm. and very focused on um on doing a good job yes i like that word i like that word it was new for me today i was just reading and then i decided to talk to you guys about this and it says here having or showing care or conscientiousness uh -huh. in one's work or duties yes that's another good word conscientious and uh it's kind of a big word. It says here, conscientiousness. Conscientiousness. Yes. <laughs> can, can, could you please pronounce that? Conscientiousness. Ah, okay. Uh, I think I'm, I'm pronouncing it good enough. Yes, yes you are. So, Erin, I hope I will have a, another uh, meeting with you at some point in the future. Absolutely. Thank you. Have a You're good one. Welcome. You too. Bye. Bye.